Hi guys, I'm a Forrester here with a short video about one of the most popular fountain pens on the internet, the Lamy 2000. This pen right here. This is my second Lamy 2000 and I'll put a link to my review of the first pen that I owned in the box below. In that review, I loved everything about the pen except for two things. First off, it had a medium nib which put down way too much ink for my writing style. Now my handwriting is very fine, fairly small, and I always felt like I was writing with a crayon with that first Lamy. The second problem that I had is my first Lamy had a noticeable sweet spot that was a frequent source of irritation for me. As time went on, I tended to avoid carrying that Lamy, although I had bought it to be my workhorse fountain pen. Now I ended up gifting that first Lamy to a friend that I made in Turkey uh, while I was doing English tutoring online. That was a couple of years ago and I finally decided to give the Lamy 2000 another try. This time I bought one with an extra fine nib after watching quite a few videos on YouTube about it. Now I've been using this pen right here for a few months and the bottom line is that the nib makes all the difference in the world. This extra fine gold nib is perfect for my writing style. The openings in the E's, the O's, and the A's are clearly visible. So far there's no sign of a sweet spot with this pen and that's really amazing to me. I've noticed that reviewers of the Lamy 2000 greatly differ in how whether they even notice a sweet spot with their pen. I think it's all in the nib that they received. And I think every nib is hand ground and so they're all different. I just lucked up with this pen. Let's go inside and I'll show you how this pen writes compared to my old pen. Okay, here we are inside. It's a lot cooler in here than it was outside. I was starting to get a little warm. But uh, you might wonder, how am I going to compare this pen to the medium nib that I gave away a couple of years ago? And I have a lot of these old notebooks that I've used over the years. And so I went back through the notebooks and found where I had written with the medium nib uh, when I had it. And so I'll, I'll compare, and they have a variety of paper, so I'll compare um, this pen with the extra fine nib to those. Let's see here. So here we are. And you can see I wrote with the Lamy 2000, it was a medium nib, and I did some scratching. The quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. So this one has an extra fine nib, and let me just show it to you right here. It's very smooth. I don't see it scratchy at all, which was the only thing people warned about, that it, had a, it could be a little scratchy, but I haven't noticed that. So let's write, and I'll try to write around this camera in a natural style. Okay, this is medium, and this is extra fine. Okay, so you will notice that the A is open in both. Well, I got real small here and those zeros were a little bit too small. So I don't see a problem, but you'll notice that this line width is very wide. So I was writing a little bit larger there to keep those open. So let me write the sentence here. Okay, so that's my natural handwriting. This up here was very large to keep these letters open, but you'll notice I think even like the A in Lazy, well, I think it's a little bit open. Uh, the O is open, so the E is open there. So I can write a lot smaller. I wrote that sentence in that much space, less space than the other one. Okay, and here we go in the second notebook. Let me get this other one out of the way so they're lying flat. Okay, and I wrote this in April the 7th, 2020. 
and let me move it up. So here's here's a number of pins that I was writing with. And here's the Lamy 2000. Now this line width is still fairly large. It's not as large as the past book and this paper is not particularly friendly to uh, fountain pens. So let me write again. Now you can hear it right, that's for sure. But it's not, I wouldn't call it scratchy, it's not a problem. And this is fairly coarse paper. So there's that comparison right here. And that's on a fairly wide line spacing. Let me give you one other example. Okay, now this is on some Moleskine. I've always said moleskin, but I don't think that's how it's pronounced. And this paper is very similar to Tomoe River. It's not quite as slick as Tomoe River, but let's see how we write. Here's Lamy 2000. This is unlined, so I was writing fairly large. But let's try it again. And I'll write a little bit slower this time. I've been scratching it out pretty quickly. Okay, running out of room. Okay, I didn't even finish the sentence up here because I ran out of room and I almost couldn't finish it there. But So there's a close-up of the writing comparison of those two. I mean, I've always, uh, I like Japanese or Asian uh, fines, probably the best of any pen that I've used. But uh, this extra fine, I only have one other pen that's an extra fine, so I was taking a little bit of a chance. But I think that matches my writing perfectly. So my bottom line is this Lamy 2000, this one right here, is my workhorse pen. This is what I carry almost on a daily basis now, and I've had it several months. So it's all in the nib. That's what my bottom line is. Y'all take care.